Hi, I'm Matt Farm, and welcome to another mod guide video. In this video, we'll be installing the GTA 5 Redux mod, which is a graphical and gameplay overhaul mod for GTA 5. The mod itself has many different elements, including an improved weather system, uh, reshade and ENB graphical effects, textures, more effects, game enhancements like police system, weapons, melee, explosions and damage, population, random events and pedestrian AI, vehicles, ragdoll, euphoria, physics and miscellaneous. So the mod actually does change quite a lot. And uh, in this video, uh, this is actually the first time I've installed the mod myself, so we'll start with the installation and then finish with booting up the game and showing a side-by-side -side comparison of the vanilla unmodded version compared with the Redux modded version, all in 4K. So, first of all you need to actually download the files themselves and the main GTA 5 Redux files can be found on their website, uh, well links to those files can be found on their website and all the links you need I'll put in the description below and you need to first of all download the GTA 5 Redux.zip and the Redux Patch Day 1 zip, there's also a torrent which has both of the files included that you can download instead and you will also need Open 4 you have to download that because it will help installing the mods and you also will require script hook 5 that you can download too and all these links will be in the description they're also on the GTA 5 Redux page itself so first of all what you need to do is install open 4 so I've already downloaded these files so let's go to the directory where I've downloaded the files there we go and you'll see it says OVI setup but it's actually open 4 instead of open 6 so if you just double click on that and install I believe it's a Russian product so you've got English and Russian languages there click continue just accept the terms and conditions click continue um, I'm going to actually run Open4 after installation as well, just to see and make sure it's actually worked properly. I'm going to leave all the defaults there in the installation path de as the default and create a desktop icon also. So click continue. It's asking to download, so we want to continue. Yes. Not sure how long this is going to take. Shouldn't be that long. There we go. Nice and quick. Now it's installing. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, and then close. Right, so it is actually supposed to prompt you to install some plugins, but it didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the game we want to uh, mod, so Grand Theft Auto 5 on Windows. And it's asking for the location, so I'm going to browse to where I've installed uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, and that's on my F drive in Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto 5, and click Select Folder, and then it's found GTA 5 EXE, which is what it wanted to do, and then click Continue. So, and don't forget to back up your original files before editing, which I've done. So, click continue. Now you can just copy those to another directory. Just copy the entire directory to another directory. It doesn't really matter because if you, if you muck it up, you can just uninstall and reinstall anyway. So, it's not really a big deal. So, click continue. Although it does take some time to reinstall because it's like a 70 gig download. GTA 5, there's an awful lot to it. Now Open 4 is starting, right, and once you've got Open 4 up and running here, if you go to Tools at the top, you'll see ASI Manager, if you click ASI Manager, you've got these plugins here, and you want to install all three of the plugins, so click Install on all three, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, it's going to create the Mods folder. The Mods folder allows you to keep all your original game files safe and have easiest one-click way to switch between modified and original files. Show notification while editing archive outside of mods folder. So we'll say yes. And we'll click install on open camera. And that is that. We can close the ASI manager. So those plugins should now be installed within the GTA 5 folder. And if we look at my GTA 5 folder, we'll see there is now a mods directory in there with nothing in it. That's what that just created. Okay, so that's that step done. Now, the next step is to install the script hook 5. So if we go to where I've downloaded script hook 5, this is this zip file here. Okay, and in the bin directory, this is a WinRAR. You can also use the, as it's a zip file, you can also use the native um, zip archive ability of Windows, and you'll be able to just do exactly the same thing here. It just looks slightly different. And the two files we want are the, the input 8 
and script took five, both these um, dynamic link libraries, the DLL files. And you can hold down control and left click on each one to select individual files. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna drag those over to the GTA 5 directory to copy them in there. So I'm just gonna make sure you can see that. I'm gonna drag these over to the root of that directory. Okay, it says it's already run one in there, so we're just gonna replace that. Okay. So now that section is done. Right, now we need to install GTA 5 Redux itself. So the first thing we need to do is extract the contents of the GTA 5 Redux zip file. And I'm going to extract that to the same directory I downloaded the, the mods to. And then I'm going to display the files in Explorer. Okay, so that's now finished extracting. As you can see there, they're all in there, the files that you require. So I'm just gonna minimize that window. Now the next step is to go back to your GTA 5 game folder, like mine here, and we need to copy and paste the following directories and files into the mods folder. So we want the update directory or folder. We want x64 folder. We want the common RPF file. We want the x64a rpf file and we want the x64w rpf file yeah okay right and now when you've got these you can right click them select copy and then you want to paste them into the mods folder so you can just right click on the mods folder and select paste and then that'll copy them all into the mods folder ready for the next part Okay, once all of those directories and files have been copied into the mods directory in the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, you can go on to the next stage. The next stage is to go into Open 4, and then go up to Tools at the top, and you should find something called a Package Installer. So left click that, and then you want to navigate to the um, extracted files from the Redux mod that you had earlier. So there they are on my computer and you want to select the Redux installer.oiv and click open. Okay, and the installer will start and it's giving you some advice here of what you need to do. But we've already done all of this and it's telling you to make sure you choose game folder as your install location. So, click install. Select game folder and the Redux mod will install and this shouldn't take too long. Okay, now once it's finished, it'll tell you the installation has succeeded, but you don't want to run Grand Theft Auto 5 yet. I'm gonna close this Open 4 installer, the, re the package installer. I'm just gonna minimize that as well. Okay, and the next stage is we want to install the reshade, the graphical effects. So we need to go back to where we extracted the GTA 5 Redux files. And in there you'll see reshade options and then you can select the preset that you want to use. Now I actually wanted to use either V2 for Redux Ultra or V3 for Redux Ultra. Because I think um, the Redux Ultra V2 is more saturated, which I quite like. But um, I think it makes the darker sort of uh, contrasted areas kind of grainy, so I'm not too sure. So I might go with V3. I'll probably go with v3 so you open the v3 folder and then you can select all the files in the v3 folder right click select copy and then you want to paste that directly into the main game folder for gta 5 and that's my one here so the main game folder right click paste it might prompt to overwrite no it didn't that's all of the files gone in there for the reshade preset if you want to actually change your preset you just need to delete these files from this directory or you could probably just overwrite them and you can just change a different option here it's probably better if you delete them first though just to make sure there's no files left over so you can look at the one that you've got you can compare the files that are in here delete those go back to the other ones that you want and then copy those ones in as well i'm just going to go back and look at the options here to see what else there is okay so there are a few other options that you could install as well but we're not going to do that at the moment i might have a look at that another time we're just going to keep it as is now and that's it now there was one other file that we downloaded so we're going to have a look at that other file and that's the redux patch day one zip let's have a look at that 
Okay, so I've just opened that up in WinRAR. Let's have a go further into there. Okay, so there's another Open4 file here that we need to install. So I'm going to extract this directory to the same place that I downloaded it to. Okay, and now that's extracted. I'm going to go back to Open4. Go to Tools. Go to Package Installer. Point to the Patch Day 1 file folder, Redux Patch Day 1. Select the open for patch day one file, click open. Okay, so before installing, make sure you've already installed the main part, yep. After you've installed the main portion of the mod, you can then install this patch, yep. You must choose game folder as your installation location, okay. That's fine, so we're now gonna click install, select game folder, and now it's gonna install the patch. Now this isn't actually documented on the GTA 5 Redux website, so I just kind of guessed that you had to do it. So I'm just going to close that now. I'm going to close this as well, the Open4 software. Make sure WinRAR is closed too. I'm going to minimize those windows. Okay, now I've already um, recorded some footage of vanilla GTA 5, and I've run the benchmark and recorded that. Um, and now I'm going to fire up GTA 5. There's the Open4 software, and there is my GTA 5 icon just sitting nicely on the desktop. So, we're going to fire up GTA 5 and see what difference it makes. I'm going to run the benchmark and put a comparison side by side. So after you've finished installing the Redux mod, it won't work properly and it won't start that I've just experienced myself if you've got these extra files in your Grand Theft Auto 5 mods directory. Now I'm not sure how they got there, I certainly didn't copy them there as you saw from the previous footage, so very strange why they're there, but if you delete all of these files from the mods directory, not to be confused with the main directory because you'll be deleting files you need, so if we delete those files. They can be picked back up again from the main directory because they're all sitting at the bottom. But for some reason they copied across into the mods directory. Very, very strange. Not sure why. I mean, that will cause GTA 5 to crash. So now if you fire up GTA 5, which we will do... Okay, so I've tried to start the game for the second time and I'm having memory crashes. And apparently the fix for the memory crashes is to download this game config for patch 10877.1. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. And once you've downloaded that file, you'll be given a, well, the downloaded file is a raw file. I've downloaded it to the same directory as my other downloads for the mods. So we're looking at that one there, the game config.raw, 1A4E. So if we extract all of those files to the same directory as the other mods. Close WinRAR. We'll have the game config.xml. Now, if you fire up Open4, select Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows. Open4 will start. So, once you're in Open4, you need to go into Edit Mode. So, click on File and then click Edit Mode. And it'll warn you. While in editing mode, all changes will automatically save. Do you want to continue? Say yes. Okay, so once you've enabled editing mode, you need to go into your mods directory, into the update directory, into the update.rpf file. Then you need to go into the common data folder. And then all you need to do is drag the gameconfig.xml file that you downloaded over to that directory. And that's it. It's now updated and everything should work. So let's try for the third time to see if GTA 5 is now working properly. And one final thing I'll have to say is um, you shouldn't be running a modded game if you're playing online. You should only play online with an unmodded game to uh, avoid the risk of being banned because they don't like modded games when you're playing online. So just do this if you're playing on single player and you should be absolutely fine. And I only plan on playing this on single player. So that's fine. So let's fire up Grand Theft Auto 5 finally for the third time and do the comparison, hopefully.
if you've liked this video please leave a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to have more movies from bomb movies and there's also a tech channel if you want to have a look at that and that's bomb tech that's a relatively new channel and uh, well enjoy your modded grand theft auto 5